Libraries provide opportunities for learning on various levels. So how does a foundation help their efforts? Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Donna Richardson, and my guest this hour is Jeffrey Smith, board president of the Foundation for Baltimore County Public Library. Welcome. It's good to Welcome. have you here. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. Now, the foundation, I'm sure a lot of people may not be aware that the library has its own foundation. Tell me about the objectives, Jeff. Sure. Uh, libraries, obviously, are, as you referenced, are very important to so many people. And we're very blessed here in Baltimore County. We've received wonderful support, public support, for our library system from Baltimore County government. Mm -hmm. But obviously, we are certainly in an era when government cannot be all things to all people. And obviously, there's been belt tightening. Thankfully, not to affect the library. However, it's important, we believe, that communities support libraries, not just community governments. Right. So by having a private sector, non-for-profit foundation to raise money from our philanthropic community, to raise money from library users, from businesses, helps to support the mission of the library and do the extra special things that maybe you can't fund out of tax revenue, mm -hmm. because tax revenue obviously is a limited base. Right. This way, we can have extra special amenities that make our libraries even better for Baltimore County residents. Now, the library offers Storyville, which is a great program for young children. What's the connection to the foundation as far as Storyville is concerned? Storyville is really probably the marquee achievement, I would say. I'm a little biased, of course, mm -hmm. for the foundation. Uh, the foundation, Storyville, actually, there are two Storyvilles. Uh, and the f library foundation was integral in the fundraising for them. Oh, the nice. first Storyville at our Rosedale branch here in the eastern side of the county was fully funded through funding done by the foundation. Oh. We received uh, private sector donations. We mm -hmm. received a major gift from Rosedale Federal Savings Bank. Uh, we received money through the state of Maryland through the capital budget. Uh, and our foundation made those proceeds available to support the building of Storyville at Rosedale. Right. Storyville at Woodlawn on our west side opened this year and it was, Storyville East was so well received, County Executive Jim Smith said, gee, why don't we put one in the west side? Yeah. He put a million dollars in the county budget to support it. Needed additional funds to do it, so that's what the foundation's all about. We came in and we raised the additional revenue to make Storyville Woodlawn happen which I hear is very, very successful. Now, in order to make that happen, you all have to raise funds. Yes. And your, one of your key events is a fair to remember. And so tell me about the uh, event and when it's going to take place. Well, the fair to remember is really a celebration of libraries. And it'll be an exciting opportunity to bring people together. So on Friday, September the 24th, uh, at Goucher College in Towson, and mm -hmm. it'll be from 7 to 11 in the evening. Uh, and I know when I sit here with my family in Perry Hall, uh, we're lo we love using libraries. Right. Um, and we get so much out of them, we want to give something back. Uh, and a lot of folks may say, well, I may not have the time to volunteer. I might not be able to do this. But we all can deep dig, dig deep into right. our pockets, if you will, and make an appropriately sized donation for our budgets to help the libraries. Coming to an event, it's fun, it's easy, mm -hmm. it's relatively reasonable in the broad scheme. We're not asking you to make a huge thousand dollar contribution, although right. we certainly would love that. Exactly. Um, but it's a good opportunity for people who want to do something, who may not have been involved philanthropically in the past, right. to get their feet wet, say, well, I'll come out for an evening, I'll have some fun, I'll have some food and drink, play some carnival games, and all at the same time I know that I'm helping in a small way to support the Baltimore County Public Library. Now, we have 30 seconds left. I want to make sure that everybody knows, how can they get the tickets? Tickets are available. You can get them by going to our website. That's the simplest way. Payment can be accepted online. You can also contact the library at the phone number I'm sure you'll be showing mm -hmm. on the screen. Yes. Uh, folks can call and get tickets that way and pay over the phone if they would like. Excellent. Jeff, thanks so much for joining Thank me. Thank you for your time. My guest this hour has been Jeffrey Smith, board president of the Foundation for Baltimore County Public Library. And if you're interested in what Comcast is doing in your community, go to On Demand and click Get Local. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Donna Richardson.